Hey guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is my first project pan roundup slash makeup capsule that I'm going to be doing for this year. I'm very excited. Last year I started doing a project pan roundup after I had done the updates for most of my projects for the month. And the way I'm going to be changing it this time is I'm going to kind of do a shop my stash kind of piece in addition to that to fill in any gaps. And that's going to be my makeup capsule that I'm going to be using until the next time we do this. If that sounds interesting to you, just keep on watching. So this piece is going to be new to my channel. This is my vanity here. I have emptied it out completely of any kind of makeup products. So I have a couple of tools in here like a pencil sharpener and a lip brush in there. And this is where I usually put my face products. And this is empty medicine silica bags to keep everything nice and dry. My brushes. This is just tools, pencils, pens, scissors, white out, things like that to help me keep track of my project pan stuff. I have wiped it down. I used... Um, nail polish remover and it spilled so that's why this is permanently damaged now and then this is where I keep eyeshadow palettes so this is what I've got so far we have we're gonna be filling this up today and this is the first set of items that are going to be going in to my vanity these are all of my project pan items as usually we're gonna go through like project by project this little grouping over here is my team project pan 2021 or my rolling 10 pan items Right here are the palettes that I'm panning. This is my year long. This is my tiny pans. This is my winter pan that palette. We have over here some items in my 21 uses. You'll notice there's already some changes. These are my magnetic singles palettes that I've been working on. One is my random number generated one. The other one is the fantasy self showdown one. I have some items here from my advent calendar project pan, my pan that face palette. These are my partners in cream items. And we have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes over here from my pan those eyeshadows plus my bonus face palette shade. So that's everything in project at this particular moment. I'm going to put them into the vanity and then let's see where the gaps are. Here's what we're looking like now. I've put my items in here. I've got some foundations and a few lip products, that little highlighter there, concealer and an eyeliner. Got some Project Pan items in here, mostly cream products it looks like. I've got my magnetic singles eyeshadow palettes as well as my face palettes and face products in here, all the powder stuff at least. And this here is the eyeshadow palettes drawer. This one is looking pretty much complete. So we've got a few gaps here. I don't have any eyeliners, mascaras. I don't really have a setting powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more things. So all this mess, these are the things that were already on my vanity and I'm gonna see which ones I wanna put back on and see which things we should switch out. Just starting off, I do want to put back my primers. So I have my No Pore Blum Prime Essence and I am finishing off my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Powder. I want to put in my Franken Powder for sure. And I'm going to grab some mascara and a concealer. And I really love this eyeshadow primer. I'm probably going to use that till it is gone. Here's my color corrector that I've been using. That needs to go. And my brow gel. That needs to go in there as well. Keep on looking here. Is there anything else that needs to go into? This here is a little pot of some blister packs of a foundation of the darker shades. I've been using this as a cream contour, so this is going. I really want to finish that up. Other than that, it looks like I would like to have this here is a, a little setting spray and a moisturizing primer. I would like to have that as well. And it looks like the rest of this is we have, ah yes, my brown eyeliner for my waterline. And other than that, we have a lot of blushes and highlighters and things like that. And I have plenty of that. I'm working on two foundations already right now. So I think that's it from what I've already had on my vanity. All right, so these blushes and bronzers and things have been living on my vanity for quite a while. I think I'm going to bring this little one back because I'd like to kind of pan it on the side. I feel like I'm pretty close. Not sure if you can see that, but there's definitely some pan kind of around the sides of it, and I feel like I can finish that. And finishing a baked bronzer this year would be pretty exciting. And another item that I've kind of been panning on the side is this little brow pencil from Makeup Revolution. And I always like to have a lip balm of some sort on my vanity, so the ones that I've been kind of playing with right now are the Elf Rider Dye, the one I just got from my BoxyCharm. This light is really 
washing it out and then this newest one that I just got this pawpaw one and I think I want to put this one on it feels really nice looking back at these pencils I hardly ever use lip liner but I would really like to finish that lip liner so I'll put it back plus I do use this black eyeliner in my waterline pretty frequently so those are gonna go back I already have four blushes and many highlighters in project pans right now but I would like to put maybe one more in and I'm thinking I don't really have anything in this very nude kind of blush so I do want to put the Mulan one back in there and looking around if there's anything else here nope we're going to move on to lip products so I already have three lipsticks a lip gloss and two liners in my project pans but this is what was already on my vanity I'm going to see if anything needs to go back in there and I think I've got most of what I need except I really do want to put this in I am kind of thinking of panning this one in the near future and this one is probably going to be pretty close to being done soon so those are two from there and I would like to go ahead and dig into my stash to add some new things welcome to the stash this is just lip glosses and I'm going to try to see if there's anything in here lip glosses and lip balms mostly and I think I don't have anything kind of this brownish color let's go ahead and put the beauty pie one in there um, anything else that I need at this point I don't think so so let's go to the lipsticks and here are lipsticks of various types we have moisturizing ones we have velvet matte ones we have all kinds of things in here and I think I do want to use I do want to have a red so here we go we got this little elf lipstick I have put this to the side for a while so I want to bring it back out and I think this nice kind of pinky nude anything else that I want in here I'm probably gonna go a little bit light on the lipsticks the first time just to see how much I feel like I need and then we'll adjust from there the next time okay I think but I want a pink lipstick too. What is this? What are you? Okay, yeah, I feel like this one can fill in some kind of a gap. And that's it. So coming on back over here, I actually have quite a bit of room. I have two slots and then most of this slot left. So maybe I can get a couple of more face products and maybe a couple of more lip products. And I think that's about it. Since we got some room, I'm gonna be digging into my tackle box. Let's see if there's anything of my project pan items that I can just start kind of playing with, working with, seeing if I can make some progress on them before I officially put it in a project pan. I'm seeing some lip glosses here on the top already. We have a pinky one and kind of an orangey one. They both look very similar in the, uh, camera here but I think this is the pinker one and that's what I want for now let's see oh yes and I like this pink gloss I think this one is kind of starting to get a little bit low and let's see if there's any face products in here that I would like to play with oh there's more lip products here let's just see hmm that reminds me I want to go ahead and pull out the one that I had from before see if I can finish this off I finished one of these off in just a couple of weeks before let's see how we do um, anything else in here? I don't think so. All right, grabbing a few more glosses. I love this one and I want to play with this one some more. And this one here, I want to get to know the lifter glosses a little bit better. So here's my little random stuff organizer here. The top one has mostly single eyeshadows of various types. The second has some overflow single eyeshadows, but then also some highlighters. And this bottom is kind of bronzers and blushes. And I have four or five highlighters and four or five blushes already in projects right now but I think I might like to add a different bronzer maybe I can play with this beauty pie bronzer a little bit before the end of the month and since I don't want it rattling around in there I will go ahead and add one more skinny little elf blush right there to fill this all out so that's it that's all I got I am super excited to be trying this out I'm sure that I'm going to be changing things up a little bit as we go but for now that's the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna show all the things that I've got I'm gonna put them into my vanity and then we're gonna try to fill in some gaps from the things that I have that are not in projects and hopefully that will be enough items to play with through the month if it's not then I'll know next time I'll just pull in a couple of extra things but thank you so much for watching I hope you are staying safe and healthy and in good spirits and if you have not already it would mean so much to me if you consider subscribing and I hope I see you guys in the next one